What's up? How are you guys today? This might be a very familiar face if you have a reasonable memory. Yovana Mendoza. Hey, hey, hey. Does this clip look familiar? I'm no longer vegan. A few years ago now. And I, I was looking at Day of Eatings and I saw her video pop up and you know I, I remembered who she was. So we're going to see what the former vegan millionaire... I don't know if she was a millionaire, but she used to get so many views on her videos for promoting the vegan nonsense. And uh, she's still posting day of eatings, not getting nearly as many views as she used to. No, I remember now. This was the chick that got caught eating fish by like one of her viewers. She was like out in a restaurant eating fish and then someone was filming her doing it. And she had to like <laughs> make a video before she got completely exposed, which is hilarious because you would think if you're like a famous vegan influencer that you would at least like take home the sushi or something or get someone else to buy it for you. But whatever. Hi fam, welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna to show you what I eat in a day and I'm actually really excited about this video because I feel like it's my most balanced video on YouTube of what I eat in a day. I feel like pregnancy and postpartum really helped me heal my relationship with food and I finally, finally, finally understood that in order to have a quick metabolism, you need to eat enough. You can't go hungry, you can't skip meals, you can't like exclude food groups. You just have to eat. So, um, and eat balance, protein, fat, and carbs. Um, so I- All these vegans are, even these like female nutrition influencers, they're always on some like basic B nutrition nonsense. At least I'm consistent. At least I was carnivore for like eight years that completely destroyed my liver. And now this new diet I've been following, I've been consistent on for like two or three years now instead of flip-flopping all over the place, crying over eating an egg in the morning. I'm at a place right now where I eat like until I'm satiated. I don't l restrict myself. I, I, I feel like satisfied after my meals, which is great. And, and I don't feel like I have cravings at the end of the day. So this is an example of what I eat, eat in a day. Obviously it's not always like this. The quantities I feel like kind of are kind of similar. At least she's straightforward. It it's not like, like Katomi, I don't always have time which to is straight like nonsense. prepare meals like this. Um, sometimes it looks like, you know, eating chicken out of a pan. If you have a baby, you know how it is. So um, yeah, if you guys like these videos, let me know in the comments below and also Subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed because I upload videos weekly and turn on the notification bell so you can be notified of all my new videos. Okay, let's get started with the video. So um, it's about 8 a.m. I woke up at 7 and I'm having a breakfast right now. I'm going to work out in like 30 minutes. So I like to eat something before I work out and have something in my stomach. And it just gives me like a little bit more energy while I'm training. Um, and then right after I work out, I drink my protein smoothie. So this is like a fairly light breakfast. So this is what it is. Two eggs, avocado, and some strawberries. And she looks pretty good for her age, right? I think she's like 32 or 33 or something. I'm not sure how old she is, but she's in her early 30s. And yeah, I mean, compared to most people, she's in shape. She's attractive. She looks pretty good. Uh, this breakfast, I mean, I'm not really that much of a fan. You guys know I've done more recent videos on why the keto diet will kill you, why you need to include like starchy carbohydrates in your diet. And whether you believe it or not, having two eggs alongside a bowl of oatmeal would be a 10 times healthier meal. You know, strawberries and avocado, high flavonoids, high polyphenols, it needs to be processed by the liver. It's not really offering caloric energy. <sighs> I've never really responded well to avocados. The anti-nutrient content is so high. I think they're pretty high in oxalates too. It's just not an easily digestible food. And then strawberries, I mean, having a few strawberries isn't, you know, bad. It's just, it's not offering you caloric nutrition. So if she had some actual starch in this meal, I think she'd be a lot healthier. I didn't say anything about the egg quality. Uh, you definitely want to go corn and soy free. Usually organic isn't good enough because you want to get uh, a decent omega-3 ratio. And I like strawberries, some fruit in the morning because it just, you know, it's a carbohydrate that my body quickly absorbs and can utilize for my training. So here it is. You're not absorbing and utilizing like the five grams of sugar in those strawberries. <laughs> my breakfast. So I drink my coffee after I have something in my stomach 
just because I don't have, I don't like the feeling of having caffeine or coffee on an empty stomach and it's not great for hormone balance either. Um, I mean, if you're going to talk about hormone health, like caffeine and coffee is one of the worst things. If you even have it in your diet. Um, so for that reason, I have breakfast first and then I drink my coffee. This is my favorite mug. I mean, maybe it slows the release, but it's still bad for you. A lot of adrenal stress. Okay, I finished my workout. I did incline walking for 45 minutes on my treadmill. That's all I did today. And um, I'm gonna make my protein smoothie. I'm using this collagen, ancient nutrition, multi-collagen protein. So she went from shilling the, uh, the vegan products to some crappy agrochemical waste products. I've done so many videos now on, on why collagen is bad for you. And just to put it simply, you know, it's a white powder that they somehow made from beef. So the amount of processing and chemicals and like really high tech manufacturing that has to go to turn it that broth or whatever they make agrochemical soup into this, it's just really, really bad for you. We have the collagen broth on Frankie's free range meat. If you put a few tablespoons of that in the smoothie, if you want to do something like this, that's actually healthy. But, you know, these shills have made so much money off these products at the expense of people's health. And ancient nutrition, multi-collagen protein. Yeah, because you're collagen, going to look ancient if you protein, trust their nutrition and it's advice. it's also great for our hair, for our skin, for our nails. Um, and it gives... Look, you, you look okay, but you don't look great. And, I mean, if you guys, like, look at the thumbnail picture on her video and, and other pictures, she doesn't have, like a super, super healthy body composition. And I mean, it does look like she has animal foods in her diet now, but the quality might not be 100% on track and she still might have to do some resistance training and, and get a lot of sun to make up for it. A really creamy consistency to smoothies. So I'm gonna blend that with some banana, uh, blueberries, collagen, and raw milk. Frozen banana, frozen berries, Damn, are her arms bigger than mine? I'm just gonna eyeball it. Two scoops of this protein. So two scoops is 18 two scoops grams of, of protein. I'm gonna do chemicals. three scoops of protein. Three scoops. So I'm gonna use raw milk, and I personally never liked cow's milk, but when I tried raw milk, I was like, oh my gosh, this is actually really good. And it's super creamy, and it's naturally sweet. I'm gonna add a little bit of milk, and to make the yeah, she has raw milk, but she's having half a cup of it. Like, I add like it's not that much. Three cubes of ice. Now we blend. See how like dark purple that is? You know the amount of flavonoids and stuff in blueberries. Like I was doing blueberry smoothies for a while, um, when I thought they were okay. Like when I was kind of quitting carnivore, and it actually made me feel worse. Yeah, you know, have, having that much blueberry is, is not that great for your liver. And it, it depends on how metabolically healthy you are. But like bears that eat a lot of blueberries, like their fat and their meat actually turns purple. So, you know, the body is storing it, trying to, you know, wait to get rid of it and use it up. Look at this. If she just had like two or three big glasses of raw milk, it, that would be 10 times healthier than this. Because the raw, raw milk is very nutritionally complete. You know, you have high quality fats, proteins, you have some minerals in there. It's so, so, so good for you. And it's really, really high quality and great for your cellular health. This, on the other hand, you know, the collagen powder, the blueberries, not that great. I mean, she could have froze the milk into ice cubes to add more of it and then... The bananas, I guess, are okay, but just a banana smoothie with raw milk would have been so much better. Yes. That's ridiculous. Mm, 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 mm. So, so, so delicious. Like completely fills up your stomach. Mm, mm, mm. Cheers. I guess it's better All than right, what most of these people are doing. This is going to be my lunch. I have two tacos with siete tortillas, cassava tortillas. And in the tacos, there's ground beef. So she said cassava tortillas. And, you know, just like rice has arsenic and I'm not as much of a fan of it as I used to be. Cassava has cyanide in it. So th there's always some type of residue. I think it's called tapioca sometimes too, but 
you don't want to eat that stuff consistently on a daily basis because of the cyanide content. Yeah, maybe if the rest of your diet was perfectly healthy and you're, and you're metabolically healthy as well, it's okay. But you just want to have a regular wheat tortilla. Beef, tomato, onion, spinach, and avocado. Yummy, yummy. Que rico. Looks so good. No, oh, this, is, this is pretty healthy, pretty good. I think, you know, removing the spinach, maybe not having the avocado. If she just had a small amount of tomato, some onions, a little more ground beef, and a higher calorie tortilla, this would be pretty good. But she still seems to be sticking to this idea that the fruits and vegetables are good for her. But it's just adding more flavonoids and... And it's not even adding soluble fiber that can help her with her liver health. I love it because it's balanced. It's just like insoluble it has protein, fiber. Protein, carbs, fat. It's yummy. It's easy to eat. And it's I don't think it's brilliant. that balanced. I think she she's still eating a lot of fat and protein. She's not really increasing her carbohydrate content enough to have a balanced diet. Guys, tacos are good. Mm mm mm. Could put some rice mm, or beans mm, in the tacos. Mm, that would help mm, a lot. Mm. Hey, this is my late afternoon snack. It's just Greek yogurt <laughs> with blueberries. <laughs> and Colette loves blueberries. So I'll be sharing some of this. I mean, if you're going to have, you know, fruits every single meal or every day, I, I would say like a quarter of the amount of blueberries that she's having is more realistic. I mean, Greek yogurt is, is really, really healthy too if you're getting it from a local farm. Um, and the probiotic cultures can be very, very beneficial for your gut. So I'm not going to talk too much trash about this meal. It seems like overall she has a very high quality diet, but for some reason is still afraid of uh, increasing the carbohydrate content. With her. And I love this snack because it's high protein. There's good fats. And I got my carbohydrates from the blueberries. Yummy, yummy. No, you didn't. It's dead. The, the amount of carbohydrates and sugar in these berries and fruits is so, so, so low. It's not really significant. Dinner time. It's dinner time. It's dinner time. It's dinner Kid time. looks nothing like her. Chorizo with potatoes. <laughs> nothing like her. It's this really right? yummy chorizo that we get from the farmer's market. Wow, the kid looks and nothing like her. I also got this juice from the farmer's market. So I'm going to serve myself a little juice. Okay, gotta go make dinner. Yeah, the last thing she needs in this diet is more anti-nutrients in a, in a juice like that. So here's my dinner, you guys. It's chorizo, potato, zucchini, cilantro, and I'm gonna spritz. I mean, again, like most of her meals are, are close to being healthy. It's just, uh, this is a lot of protein. I'm not a fan of chorizo and then like the really pungent spices. Again, it's, it's a lot of stress on the liver. Um, so enjoying foods like this and, and the higher anti-nutrient and flavonoid stuff, I mean, can be done, but initially when you're trying to fix your overall health and detox your liver, it's something you really want to avoid for at least a few years, uh, which sounds like a long amount of time. This meal, uh, I think like swapping the ratio of potatoes to chorizo would make it a lot healthier. You know, your body only needs so much protein every day to be optimally healthy. You know, any more than a pound, a pound and a half of protein, and it's kind of questionable if you actually need it. And she's having so much protein with every single meal that she should just be having carbohydrates instead. But uh, overall, I mean, she kind of went from one extreme end to the other, you know, being vegan. And I mean, even when she was vegan, she was still like avoiding starchy carbohydrates. So I guess the bread and stuff scares some people. Now she's on the high protein end of things. It's a little bit of lime. Yummy, yummy. Mm -mm -mm. Mm, 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 mm. It's so good, you guys. Just chorizo. I, don't, I feel potatoes, like zucchini, with her body fat levels, cilantro, I don't know if this is what she's actually eating. Mm, is mm, that it mm. for the video? All right, so that was what I eat in a day. Again, I guess if it you is. want more of these videos, let me know in the comments below. And I yeah, because I feel like if she was actually eating these foods and following this diet, like she would be so much leaner than she is. You know, she would be like completely shredded. Because she literally has no carbohydrates in her diet. Like no significant amount of starch or sugar at all. The fruit is so insignificant. She's basically, from a, a caloric perspective, macronutrient perspective, like carnivore keto. Uh, well, I guess now without the uh, promotion, she gets a few thousand views and not that many comments anymore. But, I mean... 
what what do you expect? Like she built up her following being vegan and stuff, and now she just switched to a diet or something similar to one that a lot of other people are following, and she doesn't really have uh, anything unique to bring to the table. But frozen bear. I feel like if she just used some like buzzwords or keywords like carnivore keto or what she was actually doing raw milk and that type of stuff she'd get more views to get back in shape look at her arm her arm's like bigger than mine like i don't know what she's taking but whatever anyway thank you guys for joining me hopefully you like this if there are any like day of eatings or what i eat in the days you like me to critique please let me know down in the comments below but outside of that you guys can go to frank if you'd like to support me please drop a like on the video Leave a comment down below, subscribe, and check that notification bell because I will see you guys soon.